Good afternoon and welcome back. I think I finished off moving my stuff around. So, these are now over here. They used to be on my World Cup wall. The World Cup wall. Now they're right there. And, see if I can get them in here somewhere. Yes. These are now there. I'm pretty well finished moving things around over there now. I have to switch to Paraguay and Uruguay over there. I still haven't figured out how to switch my flipping camera yet. I'm looking at this when I was looking at the Canada, US, and Mexico flies. I'm like thinking, well, they're going north to south, and I'm looking at the Paraguay, Argentina, Uruguay, and like I should probably move them around. So I just switched Paraguay with Uruguay, and now I got Paraguay, Argentina, Uruguay, where I had Uruguay, Argentina, Paraguay. I was thinking, geez, Uruguay was first, so I would put him first. It's like, yeah, no. Then I was looking at the. I was thinking, geez, let's go north to south geographically. Which now matches up with if you look at the if you look at South America, Paraguay you got Paraguay and it's bordered by Argentina to the north and Uruguay is, has Argentina bordered on its north and east. And I think also on south too. I have to double check that one. I'm pretty sure. Well, some of the some of the north is bordered by its north border is bordered by Argentina and Brazil. Something as Brazil is to the east there. Now geography geography can geography can be confusing. I have to move Spain over. Because if you again, if you look at the map, you got Portugal bordered, bordering the Atlantic on its west and Spain on on its north and east, and then you got Morocco just south of Spain there, crossing the Strait of Gibraltar. So, yeah, that's where that that's where that is. Free geography. Is there some geography, geography lesson there? So yeah, I have to get a picture of that. Should get a picture of that eventually at some point. Not a bad idea, really. I'll save it for when I get my last two flags. So there. So what else is going on? Going on the Raiders game Friday. It's been a couple weeks. Actually, it literally has been a couple weeks. The last game I went to was two weeks ago on the 12th. Who the heck were they playing? They were playing Victoria. Gotta get rid of as many teams as they can this season. That way I won't have much of a list for next season. Yeah, that list is shrinking. I'm amazed I've seen 12 teams. Technically 13. Because last season I've seen the Winnipeg guys, not knowing that they end up moving to Washington to become the Wenatchee Wild. And apparently they, they're going to get their own arena, and apparently that fell through. So Wenatchee group snatched them up. It's like, thank you, guys. So, yeah. So after Saskatoon, the only Saskatchewan team I well, haven't seen will be Swiss Current. <coughs> I haven't seen Brandon yet. I didn't earn Manitoba, so. The only Alberta team I haven't seen is Medicine Hat. The only BC team I haven't seen is Prince George. And then there's just five more U.S. teams I haven't seen. The only team I have seen is the Tri-City Americans. 
to there. So yeah, there is that. Now it's clue time. Because why not? Famous last words for 200. Yesterday's Jeopardy answer was Alpha's Greek letter opposite that means the last in a sequence. Question, what is Omega? Alpha, the first, and Omega, the last. Just like that. Famous last words for 600. Today's Jeopardy answer is a Frisbee team game or a word from from the Latin for last. You know, the Greek word is Omega, so... No idea. No stinking idea. I literally have absolutely no idea, so... It is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, so I was just checking the time here. It's 20, uh, 25 after 4. And I kind of butchered myself yesterday when I moved my dresser over and turned it sideways. I can't see the damn clock. Well, damn alarm clock, that is. So I kind of slightly hosed myself. Slightly. Yeah, that's me for you in a nutshell, so. <laughs> so shut up. So shut up. So anyways. Uh, so yeah, what else is there to say? I don't think a hell of a lot right now. So therefore, in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.